Hi, I'm Cheryl and this is Manny. Welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to show you a few of what I consider are beginner's sewing projects. No previous sewing experience is necessary. All you need is a basic sewing machine that does a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. Throughout this video will be links to other videos. They will appear in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Also at the very end of this video is a green screen that will list other fun sewing project links that you can do. So let's get started. Before I get started on talking about these coffee cup cozies, I wanted to mention that many of these sewing videos I feel are also appropriate for children to learn. So if your children are at the, a mature enough level to where they can focus and have that attention span to sew, then I would encourage them to do some of these. I was about 12 when I started to sew and some of my viewers have mentioned they were about 10. So you be the judge if you think your children are ready. As I said, these are coffee cup cozies. These work around styrofoam cups only. They're not meant for ceramic cups at all. They're great. You could keep it in your car, keep one in your purse, at your desk where you work. They're really easy. They have little Velcro closures where you can easily adjust and close them. Really quick and easy project to make. These are drink coasters. What I like to do is purchase novelty fabric that's got fun little things, either nice sayings on it or, or funny little cute objects on them. You cut them out in any shape that you want, give them as gifts, put them on your coffee table. They are a really easy project to start with. When someone tells me they want to learn how to sew and they ask me what should I start with, I always say a pot holder. They're so easy and you know you're going to be using it. It's a very practical thing to make for yourself and a very practical gift to give someone else. This was one of my very first videos that I made, a very popular video because it is easy. This is a potato zapper bag. You put your baked potatoes in them, close this up, turn it face down and cook your potatoes in the microwave. This one is really fast to make and very practical also. One of my favorite sewing projects is decorating towels. I give these as gifts. I make them for myself, for friends, just a thank you gift for the holidays. I love them and I have many videos on how to decorate towels. If you like to give wine as a gift, this is a very quick project to do. You make it out of any cotton fabric that you want and you can even use novelty fabrics, Christmas fabrics, birthday, you can make it anything you want. If you've been invited to a dinner party or backyard party, it's the holidays and you've been asked to bring a dish of food, you can make a decorative bowl cover to put on it. These are so cute. This is a 4th of July bowl cover that I made and it even kind of went with the bowl. So you could actually leave this bowl cover as a gift to the hostess. Pin cushions are really easy, especially this one. If you know somebody who wants to learn how to sew, you can put this together, put a few pins in it to get them started, and as I said, really quick and it's so cute. This is a personal tissue holder. It's got a little pack of tissue that you purchase at the grocery store and you insert it in. This has three pieces of fabric and one seam. A great starter project for anybody and it's perfect for kids. This is a glass case. You can make them for your eyeglasses 
or your sunglasses. Make them out of any fabric that you want. This has foam in it, but you can also use cotton batting. Again, super easy, really fast. I absolutely love table runners. I have them in every color for every season and every holiday. My very first YouTube video was called How to Make a Table Runner. This one is so easy, so quick, you'll wonder why you would never tried it before. This particular video is called The Last Minute Table Runner and I made this out of red and gold Christmas holiday fabric. What you have seen are just a few of my sewing videos. I have over 350 videos that I have made in the last three years, or I should say three and a half years. I make quilts from this little baby quilt that's real easy to more complicated quilt blocks. I also have toaster covers. You can make them really basic or a little more complicated. This even has machine applique on it. So speaking of machine applique, these are little designs you can cut out and do decorative stitching. These are so easy to do and I have lots and lots of videos on machine applique. Here's a machine applique mug rug for your coffee cups. You can also get and do placemats. I have lots and lots of placemats. I also have videos on all kinds of purses and tote bags. I also have pillows. This is a fall holiday pumpkin pillow and you can even make more complicated pillows like this card trick quilt block and it's also a slip cover. So I have lots and lots of slip cover pillow videos that you can do. To get to my home page so that you can see all of these other videos, all you need to do is go on the internet, enter youtube.com slash C slash the sewing room channel and it will take you to my home page well, you will see a lot of different video title subjects. You click on that and it will take you, let's say you clicked on placemats. It'll take you to all my placemat videos and we'll list all of them. You click on those and you go to the video. So there's a lot for you to learn on the Sewing Room channel. All of my videos are very detailed and it really is a place where you can learn to sew. If you like this video, please click on thumbs up and also click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Click on that little bell and then enter your email address so that you receive future email notifications about my latest video. Now, if you're not receiving those emails, then go to your cell phone or iPad, go to settings, and turn notifications in the on position. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny. So glad you came to my sewing room. See you next time, and happy sewing!